we are going to do a one box hunt today i already weighed these up there are three heavy ones we have a 226.5 a 226.6 and a 226.1 and the only ender we have is actually a proof ender there were no silver enders so we're going to see what's inside I'm going to get one in the first one, and it looks old. Oh, it's a Ben Franklin, 1954 Ben Franklin. And it doesn't look like there's a mint mark. Good way to start. And the second heavy one, it weighed 226.5. Yeah, there's going to be one in the center there. 1964 Kennedy, Philadelphia. Cool. Oh, there's going to be one in the middle there. 1966, Philadelphia. Cool. So our third heavy one, it only weighs 226.1. We'll see if there's something inside. Oh, there will be something and it looks old. It's almost not as noticeable. Oh, it's another walk in Liberty. That'll be my second walk in Liberty in two weeks. Cool. Can't see if there's a mint mark. It's pretty dirty, but it is a 1944. That is cool. Silverish. Oh, it is silver. A little sneaky on the edge. Almost has that copper look to it. 1968 Denver. Cool. That's why I go back through these after I'm done. Make sure we didn't miss anything. So there's going to be one hiding in there. Let's see what it is. Another 1968 Denver. Here's our proof fender. We're going to find out what year it is. That is the only thing in there, and that will be a 2001 San Francisco proof. Cool. There's going to be one hiding in that one. Let's see. 1967 from Philadelphia. Cool. That was a pretty good box. We ended up getting seven silver out of it. The three heavy rolls did have silver in them. They all were 90%. We ended up getting the 1944 Walk in Liberty, a 1954 Ben Franklin, a 64 Kennedy, a 66, and a 67 all from Philadelphia and we did get two 1968s from Denver and we did find this cool proof the 2001 San Francisco proof looks like it's been dumped a couple of times so we're going to save it today that's cool I'd like to thank everyone for watching my latest video and good luck on your next hunt